What is up guys, DZ here, and today I wanted to go through an awkward hand that I drew at the regional qualifier last weekend with Zombie Phantom Knights. Um, I've gotten a couple requests for like combo videos with this deck, but uh, to be completely honest, there's not really any straightforward combos. I mean, I can tell you that like a Solitaire is a one card Omega, and like two Phantom Knights makes a Dante, but like in, in terms of like actual concrete combos, there's not a lot of them. You just kind of do whatever, make Omegas, make Leviers, and win. But uh, this is a hand that I drew going first, and... It's pretty awkward initially. Um, we have a Boots with no other Phantom Knights. We have a single Unizombie with no Terra Top, um, so we can't really do anything with that. We have a DDR with no good discard targets. We have a Maxi going first, not super great. And we have a Fog Blade that doesn't really do anything. Um, and when I, when I looked at this hand, my initial reaction was to just summon Unizombie and mill Mizuki and pass. Um, but after looking at it for a while, um, well, not like a while, but just, just a short time, um, I realized that there's actually a pretty good combo you can do with this hand. Um, and I kind of want to use this as an example to show you that you can play out of awkward hands, or hands that you think are awkward are actually not terrible. Um, but also I want to let you know that I did get a new phone, um, actually a brand new phone, and so I'm kind of messing around with the camera right now, so if you have any suggestions, if it doesn't look good enough, um, or if the sound, sound quality isn't good enough, I still have some options I want to play around, so just let me know. Um, but anyway, here's the hand I drew, and here's the play I did. Um, and before I do this, I'd say... Uh, just before I do anything, try thinking of what hand you think um, would be a good ending ending hand for this one. Um, you don't have to put it in the comments or anything, but just kind of think about it as I go through it. So anyway, I summon Unizami, use its effect to mill a Mizuki to the graveyard, making it level 4, and then I use its other effect to discard Boots to make it level 5. I then banished Boots from the grave to add a second Fog Blade to my hand, and then I use... Um, DDR actually discarding a fog blade to bring back the boots. So now we have level five units on me and level three. So I synchroed for Omega. After which I banish Mizuki and Fog Blade to summon back Unizombie and Boots. And then overlaid um, for Dante in defense position, um, detaching boots to mill three. Um, in the actual case, I mill the cloak, which is even better. But um even without milling a cloak, you Yes, took a minus, but only momentarily. Um, you turned a hand that really didn't have any uh, synergistic cards and ended with an Omega, putting back either a Mizuki or a Fogblade. Um, a Dante, which is always a threat, that gets you more mills. Max C, one of the best cards this format, and it threatens your opponent to um, stop or give you a lot of cards, so then you win either way, really. And then a Fogblade that your opponent doesn't know exists. Because remember, we searched a Fogblade and then we discarded one, um, so your opponent actually doesn't know that you have a fog blade, which is, I mean, that that's a lot. I mean, that 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 is really important that they don't know what you have set. They don't know if it's a bluff. They don't know if it's a strike. They they have no idea. And I was able to win this game um, out of a hand that I initially thought was really bad. So I think it just goes to show that when you're playing this deck, you really have to think outside of the box. And obviously, outside the first turn, the deck gets really complicated because um, you're constantly doing things with like Levier the Sea Dragon. Um, and like looping Mizukis and like going through all the Phantom Knight cards. Uh, Allure Darkness plays a huge role in that. Um, so a lot of the hands um, don't just end with like a Dante. They end with like Levier, Levier, Omega, Dante, or like Levier, Omega, Omega, and stuff like that. And it, that happens more often than not. And a lot of times you just out advantage your opponent because you have multiple Omegas recycling cards. You have Leviers bringing cards back. I mean, I play three Levier because I make three Levier constantly. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a, a kind of a weird combo, I guess. So if you ever draw this hand, um, you're testing my deck, now you know what to do. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. Goodbye.